Hi there and welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School down in Montpellier, France, an Ableton Certified Training Centre. In this series of tutorials we're looking at the Max for Live devices. We looked at the LFO, the envelope, the shaper, the drum synth and the expression control. It is now time to look at envelope follower and open the door of audio side chaining. So to understand envelope follower and to demonstrate it, once again, I'm gonna use the same musical example I've been building for this series of tutorials. Remember, we have a drum beat and a synthesizer. This synthesizer is heavily modulated using all sorts, envelope, LFO, shaper. I've used the drum synths to create the beat and even expression control to add subtle movements to my hi-hats and even subtle movements to the texture of my sound, modulating the unison. Now, to demonstrate envelope follower, I'm going to create a brand new little sound for this demo. I'm going to take uh, operator. I'm going to bring a MIDI note to that and trigger it. Let's solo that. Okay, let's go to the bass area. Let's add now texture and harmonics to the sound. Even more harmonics. Yes, a bit much. Like so. And I'm going to lower the filter, maybe give it a bit more strength. Oh, sorry for the distortion here. Yeah, something like that will do perfectly well. Great. So let's go and grab expression control from the Max for Live audio effects tab. I'm going to load it onto a dynamic signal like the drums, a signal that has a lot of movement. Now, envelope follower being an audio effects can be placed on MIDI tracks and audio tracks, and it will basically track the changes of volume of your sound like so. As I play the drums, you can see now the graph here basically shows you the changes in volume, the dynamic movements of the sound. And guess what? That movement can now be applied to modulate anything within live. So let's use the map button and apply this movement to the filter of the bass. Let's hear it. I can change the movement using the raise and the fall. I can basically smoothen the movement. I can raise the range of the movement like so. Fantastic, isn't it? I can have obviously up to eight different destinations. So I can also, for example, use that to modulate the volume of the sound. Yeah, so I can maybe narrow a little bit the movement of the filter and raise the movement, the global movement here. Let's uh, lower the maximum value of the volume. You can see the symbiosis that is now between the two sounds, yeah? Cool. I, I can also use a, an audio track, which is quite interesting. Uh, it's like a side chaining, but like endless, no, no restrictions. You see, with traditional side chaining, was restricted to the uh, tools, to the devices that can be implemented with side chaining, like auto filter, gate, or compression. But here we have endless side chaining from anywhere to anywhere. It's it's quite staggering, actually. Let's go and grab a, an audio clip here that has a lot of movement, like this guy here. Let's hear it. Yeah, cool. Let's load envelope follower onto that track now. And you can see straight away that it's basically shadowing, tracking the movement of the audio file here. Okay, and let's apply that now once again to the filter of my bass here. Let's hear it. Ooh, let's raise a little bit the range of movement here. Yeah, so let's hear it in context. And you see, if I change the, let's say the, the positions here, for example, of my, my, my warping, yeah, let's, let's give it a bit more. Yeah, so you see, I can truly dictate the movement using the volumes here. 
yeah you can hear the, the slight differences that implies yeah yeah so wow uh, it's, it's, it's actually quite scary what can be done with that i can also delay the movement in milliseconds or synchronized to ableton live let's hear it you can see now the movement you can hear it is behind now i'm back into a synchronized tempo yeah so i can delay i can shift the movement to place it in the groove the half a half a bar later yeah so it's quite staggering what can be done with envelope follower really um, you could use i don't know the vocal the movement of your vocals to modulate the vocoder or whatever it's, it's endless and once again as you saw there are eight possible destinations like we had with other uh, tools like lfo and envelope so um, th this is side chaining endless all over again forever everywhere we want yeah so please do not overlook envelope follower it could again open the door to creating a microcosm of sound where sounds are interacting with each other in various ways and changing the parameter on one sound will affect another or many other sounds.